Hey guys, welcome to Laugh Napkin. Today I have yet another awesome story from r slash pro revenge. If you cheat on this girl, you'll get 14 plus years of video game progress erased in a few hours. Sweet, sweet revenge. So I'm just gonna get right into it. Enjoy. Boyfriend of five years cheated on me, so I ruined his precious RuneScape account. My boyfriend and I had met online well over six years ago through an online game by the name of RuneScape. He was 14 and I was 17, but it felt like we had been friends forever. We both played the game very often and connected through it, eventually leading us to start a long distance relationship. Things began to escalate as the years went on and we began seeing each other in person every few months or so. We were about 1500 miles apart, so one of our main priorities for the future was moving in together and closing the distance. My job had prevented us from doing that, but we had finally set a date for me to move in with him in December of this year. Our relationship never had any serious issues, and I was more than happy to have him in my life as he was happy to have me. As I got older, I began to play RuneScape less and less, as work took up most of my time. He continued to play regularly, if not more than he had when I first met him. He could never really hold on a job and barely had an income, but I supported him throughout the years and even paid his rent from across the country when he moved out of his parents' house a few years ago. I never really minded it because he was a sweetheart, but we began to have problems. In November of last year, I couldn't help pay his monthly rent. I was short on cash after having to pay my own living expenses alongside car repairs and bills I owed to the state, and I just couldn't afford to support him at the time. When I called him one night to discuss it, he freaked out and started crying that he didn't want to live with his parents again. I tried calming him down and even suggesting that I could help him find a temporary job until I could start providing for him again, but he wasn't having it. He claimed his parents would abuse him if he returned home, which I know for a fact isn't true because him and his parents have stayed with me several times. They've given him the world. I eventually did calm him down, but he remained passive aggressive the entire night, and we eventually hung up. Because I cared about him, I reached out to his father the next day and informed him that he would probably be moving back home after his lease expired that month. I explained how I wouldn't be able to afford paying for his living for a month or two, and if there were any local jobs he could work in order to, you know, make an income. Apparently, a friend of his father needed help managing a small warehouse for his business and was looking to potentially hire my boyfriend for the season. It paid $15 an hour and was super easy, lifting boxes, sweeping the floors, and taking inventory. I brought it up to my boyfriend that same night, and he was not having it. Not only did he not want to work in a crappy warehouse, but he didn't want to work at all. All he planned to do day in and day out was play RuneScape. I bought up a few other listings that I had found in his area and he immediately shot all of them down as well. He then had the audacity to comment about how he thinks I should work harder and possibly work a second job. I kept my composure and simply argued against it until we eventually hung up. I collapsed on my bed and cried for a good hour or two afterwards because of the intense emotional stress I was under. Not only do I work 8 hours a day, 6 days a week, I'm also an industrial meteorologist. If I remember correctly, that's a lot more work than playing RuneScape every day and using my Hulu account. I really considered breaking up with him right that moment, but I changed my mind and decided to give him another chance. Looking back on it, big mistake. I messaged him throughout the night and we sort of made up, but I was still a little uneasy about the entire event. He had moved back with his parents by the time December had come, and I began to help him look for jobs while he wasted his life away playing video games. I eventually persuaded him to start working at a small retail store near his house, and he thankfully began to make some money. I would still buy him video games and transfer him money like normal because I spoiled him, and our relationship began to feel somewhat okay again. Last month, both him and I put our money together to fly him across the US to stay with me for four days. We hadn't seen each other in person since last summer, so we were both looking forward to it. He arrived and we had a great time for the first few days because he could actually take me on dates for once with his new income. Everything was perfect, until I caught a glimpse of his phone's lock screen while he was taking a shower. When are you gonna leave her? The Discord message read.
I could have ran into the bathroom and snapped his neck in that moment, but I kept myself together as best as I could without killing him. I had never felt so used, disrespected, or hated in my entire life. When he came out of the bathroom, I gave him a fake smile, but I genuinely hated him from that moment on. He could have dropped dead on the floor and I would have spit on him. I spent the remainder of the night watching him play RuneScape and I remained very quiet. He took notice of this and asked me if everything was okay, and I lied and told him I was fine. When it came time to go to sleep, I let that effort climb into bed with me and he tried to initiate naughty time because it was our final night together. I rejected as politely as I could without tearing his member completely off. He was disappointed but went out like a light. Immediately after he went to sleep, I reached over and unplugged his phone and started digging through his messages with that girl. I feared that I had misinterpreted the message I had seen, but I was completely right after all. Not only had he been cheating on me, he'd been doing so for nearly six months, leading me to believe that he hooked up with another girl directly after I couldn't pay for his living in November. I scrolled through probably a hundred thousand messages and wanted to vomit my insides out by the end of it. He had talked smack about me, claimed I was emotionally abusive, just as he had done with his parents, and even sent this girl my naughty pics so they could pick me apart physically. When the morning came, I had slept in because of how late I was up reading his messages. I woke up to find him on my computer playing RuneScape and eating my food. It was like all of our relationship had been wiped from my mind, and he was now an evil stranger sitting in my house. I wanted to scream at him. I wanted to tear him apart and kick him out of my house onto the street. But I didn't. In fact, I gave him as much love and attention as I could muster that morning because I wanted to leave things feeling normal between us. I dropped him off at the airport and we had a quick and somber goodbye before I left him forever, unbeknownst to him. I drove back home as calmly as I could before crying my eyes out in a mix of complete anger and emotional pain. I ended up kicking my bed frame so hard that the wood split and I had to buy another one recently. If only it were his face. I wanted to break his heart by the time he arrived back home, but I wanted it to really hurt. I logged into our joint RuneScape account that we had made several years ago where him and I would work on training the same account and raising it almost like our baby. We had always joked that if we were ever to split up, he would take half of the account's bank contents and I would take the rest. I took my half and transferred it into my main account before taking his half and giving it away to random people throughout the game. Every last bit of it. Even items I couldn't normally trade away. I used a spell to convert the items into coins, which I then gave away as well. The bank was now empty. It then occurred to me that I had the credentials to his main account written down in my desk, as he would frequently have me train his farming skill every so often. I didn't hesitate at all and logged into his precious 14 year old RuneScape account. I immediately took all of the contents of his bank and sold it on the Grand Exchange, a marketplace in the game. It took an extremely long time to clear out his bank but he would still be flying home for about another four hours or so, so I had plenty of time. By the time I had sold and destroyed everything, I had four stacks of coins totaling over 8.5 billion. Now what to spend it on? Hmm. I wanted to waste his life earnings on the most useless, stupid thing I could think of besides him. I logged back into my main account to reach out to a friend of mine that collects massive stacks of burnt food. For the unaware, burnt food in RuneScape has no use. You can't unburn them, eat them, or even sell them on the Grand Exchange. They are, however, tradable amongst players. I've always poked fun at this guy for collecting burnt food, but I was now more thankful than ever to make his acquaintance in my revenge. I asked him what the most obscure, unwanted item of the burnt food variety was, and he replied, burnt spider. Lo and behold, he had roughly 6,000 of the item, Spider on Shaft, burnt, in his bank that he was willing to sell me. Feeling generous with my ex-boyfriend's coins, I gave my friend a full stack of 2.147 billion coins and left a very happy customer. 
I dropped the 6,083 burnt spiders in his bank, but still had about 6 billion coins left to spend. With the remaining money, I decided to treat myself. I went onto the Grand Exchange and ended up going on a shopping spree. The first thing I bought were 100 bonds. If you're not familiar, a bond in RuneScape grants you 14 days of in-game membership. After trading all 100 bonds to my account, I now have almost 4 years of membership paid for me. I spent the majority of his coins on extremely nice armor and weapons, all of which went straight into my account. He still had about an extra billion, so I spent it on the supplies I needed to level up an expensive skill of mine. By the end of the afternoon, he was left with a measly 150,000 coins in his bank, all of which I gave away to a guy cooking pizzas outside of the exchange. Nothing was left. So I decided to pick up a pile of bones off the ground and leave it solely in his bank. It might sound petty, but I laughed for a while. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is so cruel. You ruined tens of thousands of hours he had put into a game. Well, it was time he learned that I can be a horrible person. A mean, horrible person. On top of spending every last coin he had ever made, I leveled his defense skill. This may not sound bad. In fact, it sounds like a good thing. I helped his account progress, right? Well, no. Unfortunately for my ex, he had what players commonly referred to as a pure account. Meaning he never, ever dared to level his defense skill from level 1 in order to keep the lowest defense stats but have high offense stats. Well, not anymore. Have fun with your permanent level 6 defense. Cycling through hundreds of possible forms of revenge in my head, I settled on getting rid of his house. It's quite an achievement in RuneScape to have a nice house of your own. In fact, he had one of the nicest I've ever seen in the game. In order to have it built, he must have spent well over a few billion coins. Too bad I had disassembled it all in a matter of minutes, deleting it into cyberspace. And there's no insurance either. He's going to have to rebuy everything with his non-existent money if he wants a new house. Bye bye, Casa de Cheater. Scrolling through his friends list, I decided to act as him and pay a visit to his friends who are currently online and admit that I had cheated on my girlfriend and was fully proud of it. If his friends hadn't removed them by that point, I removed them. All of them. Lastly, to add a beautiful little cherry to this revenge-filled cake, I changed his username. You're able to change your username once a month on RuneScape, so I changed his to let everyone know that he's a dirty cheater. I obviously won't drop his username here, but I did the best I could to embarrass him with a 12 character limit. He'd be able to reclaim his previous username in about 3 weeks, but if he waits too long, I'll be able to swipe it and slap it on a throwaway account of my own forever. He sent me a very hateful and aggressive message later that night, followed by pictures of him crying. I wrote him a sincere message officially ending our relationship, while also scaring him away by threatening to take him to court over sharing my nudes and possibly filing a cease and desist if he were to contact me anytime soon. I don't plan on doing any of that, but I just don't want to speak to him ever again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to this channel as you're the ones making these daily videos possible. See you guys in the next video.